So thanks for coming to talk about the secondary data set with us. It's my pleasure. That's really good. Um, so Jane's been talking about the secondary data set and how it's been used in qualitative research. And um, I guess we're just going to have a bit of a chat about the way that we've used it um, when I've been doing my PhD research and you've been my very capable co-researcher. And um, the way that we've used the big study, the big mouse cell circumcision study data to inform the PhD. Do you want to mm. just talk a bit about how we've collected that data and our relationship with the data that we already have? Yes, uh, the big study was quite, quite huge, I can say that, because there were 800 plus men involved in the study and 560 plus women. So actually, as the field coordinator for Papua New Guinea, I was like worried, how do we get all this analyzed? But it was good that um, you started working on the women's the, uh, the data, mm -hmm. analyzing that. So seeing you going through this, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that at least we can cover some of those data for the, yes. yeah, for the analyzing that. Yeah. yeah, so when I went to look at this huge data set of both quantitative and qualitative data, then I theoretically sampled looking for who had rich stories about their experience of male circumcision and the implications of them. And, um, and then uh, remember I took this to the focus groups for the PhD. So we had this interpretive focus group and I've got the data here that we took to each of those groups and invited them, the, the women, to speak about the data and to read it and to see if it was part of their experience or not. Yes, this, this was an uh, interesting uh, part again where women, some of them did come again for the next round to participate, but the others, it was the first time. But uh, just looking at this, it sort of reflected their stories and their personal experiences. And yeah, there were a lot of women that came out with new ideas mm. upon this, this old story. So mm. it was quite exciting for them, you know, just to listen to them. And it, they took hours, even three, four hours to share their stories. That's Everyone right. wanted to have the personal story. So yeah. that was good timing for them. Yeah. Yeah. It gave them another chance to go through. It really seemed to... Um, get them talking, didn't it? The use of the data from the from the secondary data set oh, really yes. got them going. Oh yes, and the activities that you gave as well for drawing and all this. Yes, it it sort of generated um, more stories yeah. out there. Yeah. And I think that storyboarding that. Mm. that was really good for women who don't have literacy or who yes. you know struggle to use English. So even though we were conducting the interviews in Tokyo, yes. and then it still gave them another way of expressing their experience of male circumcision. Yes. What do you think? I was I was thinking it would be they would find it hard to uh, draw and um, express what they have in their minds on the on the chair. Yeah. But they were smart. I can see that. <laughs> My idea of thinking that they wouldn't do it was wrong. Mm. They did express a lot in their picture form. Yeah. And that was a great idea that you came up with. Yeah. In the yeah. And I think that was because of the richness of the data we had from the secondary data set. It really got people going and thinking yes. about Yes, yes, yeah, pushed them on. Yeah. 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 Mm. And so we've got new information now, and I guess what we have been doing for the last couple of days in PNG here is to go back and check with women and mm. ask for their recommendations, so to check that we've got the findings right. Yes. So we're using that in a bit of an action research yes. cycle. Yes. Um, but that secondary data set is still central to um, our understanding of That's what's right. going on for women. That's and in fact, right. after the, the um, which groups that we ran with the storyboarding mm. and the secondary mm. data set, I then went back to that big data set that mm. we had, the secondary data set, okay. and got some more information out of there, mm. so that I was more informed for this final okay. trip. Okay, okay. So. Well, that's good. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get more in this, uh, the last trip that you're going yeah. around. Yeah. Well, it's nice to be here in Oro, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's a nice place, so you made and... Yeah, you Even a little that. rain. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rachel.